Vitaly people at that party. <laughs> talking about how she um if anyone else is getting like the ick from Van Cleef because it's so kind of seen now I have a few thoughts about this hey team what's up welcome to a brand new vlog um I just finished like my work day and I realized like I should probably start vlogging now because New York Fashion Week starts technically tomorrow but there's an event tonight the Puma Fashion Show which I'm still waiting on confirmation to get um, I invite you. I'm hoping I can go. Um, if not, I have other things happening this week. But I thought I'd just start the vlog here um, and we could chat for a little bit. I'm actually going to put you down and um, we can like chat. I have some things in my mind. I want to talk about TikTok. I want to talk about this thing I saw about Van Cleef with like interesting dialogue discussion. Um, yeah, so let me just put you down. I'm going to get on the floor. I think we may have a coffee actually quickly first. Um, and we can like chit chat and then we can kind of talk through what's going to be happening this week and I'll take you along. Um, if you haven't seen the Paris Fashion Week vlog, definitely check that out here, here. Um, and, you know, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, all those things. Um, so yeah, let's start this vlog. We can chat for a bit. I feel like I haven't done one of these like sit down videos in like so freaking long. Um, it actually reminds me of a sit down video I did where I like explained to you like was that last part like New York Fashion Week? Maybe it was like two New York Fashion Weeks ago when I ended up crying and I put that on the internet. Like I can't believe I did that, but once again, um, I'm <laughs> kind of on hand when it comes to coming on here. Um, but yeah, so what do I want to talk about? Oh, okay, so just had like some few things on my mind that I thought I'd like film and start this vlog, like I said. But the one thing I wanted to say before I talk about the other big thing is I know I've talked about my, like, want to get on TikTok, right? And I've just been on it, and, like, I have a lot of thoughts about it. Um, I'm in 300 view jail right now, which is weird, because I'll be in 300 view jail, and then I'll, a video will, like, at 18,000 views, and I'm like, what the hell? It's, like, a random video. Um, or, like, there's one of, the, one of Chris Brown from Paris Fashion Week um, that got, like, a bunch of views, too. But, yeah, I think... It's, but there are other things that I post, and it's, like, like literally nobody sees it. Um, and it's super annoying. But that's just one thing that kind of leads into the next, which is a video I saw from Tamara, actually on her YouTube channel. Hey, Tamara. And she was talking about this like viral video that the girl ended up taking down, but there's still some stitches of it. So it was an interesting topic I wanted to bring up. Really, the top, what the video was about was if Van Cleef, Van Cleef is giving people the ick. So as we know, like I have been collecting my wrist game stack for a minute. Um, and this is like my most recent piece, the Van Cleef Alhambra Onyx bracelet, um, which I love. Um, I think you guys probably also know on this channel that I used to work at Van Cleef, so I um, like have a relationship with the brand. I used to be a receptionist. I was actually just doing a Q&A on my um, Instagram, which I think also like sidebar, I want to do like a getting to know me video in here and like answer questions. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know and I'll film that. Um, cause I'm trying to like get some more ideas for sit down videos. So if you have ideas, let me know in the comments. Anyway, this girl was talking about how she, um, if anyone else is getting like the ick from Van Cleef because it's so kind of seen now. I have a few thoughts about this. So first off, I love the brand. Clearly I worked there. Um, and it has like such a rich history. Like the Alhambra collection is like classic. You are seeing it a lot as one because you're seeing a lot of men wear it now, so like with like Drake, LeBron James, those are actually the two guys who I first saw wearing it. I'm like, oh wait, this is actually probably look good on me. Which made me kind of think about getting um, the collection. It's funny, I used to work around the pieces all day, every day for like close to a year at the store. Never really thinking it was like a piece of jewelry I'd want to wear. Um, it's so funny how like kind of influences can change your like thinking about things like that. But I have seen that kind of be a big um, push to getting a lot of guys wearing it. Also, social media. We have to talk about the impact of social media within the world of luxury. Because what ends up happening is, if you really think about it, how many times do you see people wearing a Van Cleef bracelet or a Van Cleef piece out in the world? If you frequent specific circles, like for example, me and my sister were at um, Sew House at the pool one day. Um, and I was telling her like, oh, look how many people are wearing like the Van Cleef like bracelets or wearing cleave like necklaces. But that's a very specific 
like social economic group that goes there and like within that group a lot of people will have the same same items because they're just kind of like the trendiest of items within that group but not everybody's wearing Cartier, Van Cleef, all these things they're expensive like it took me a long time to get to a place where I could afford these um, and a lot of freelance work in addition to my normal job to be able to afford this stuff. Um, it's not like a thing that you can just get um, on a whim, right? So you don't, people actually aren't seeing it that much in the world. What they're happening is that algorithms are playing a role and you're seeing pieces on a lot of the same people that the algorithm knows that you like. So if you're interested in jewelry, if you're interested in luxury, or in fashion, you're going to start following those other people, algorithms are gonna see that you're liking that type of content, you're gonna keep getting served that kind of content. It makes it feel like everybody has these things, but in reality, not everyone does. That's kind of one first part of it. The second is that there are a lot of knockoffs. Because now it becomes such a popular piece, um, they're now more fake on the market. I saw actually this really crazy video that shows that shows like a super fake and a real one, and it was like almost exactly the same. Really, where the difference came into play was with the weight of the metal. That's when you could tell, um, because of course, like if you're using real materials, it's gonna weigh different than a fake. Um, so that was kind of crazy. So, but that's kind of like the world that we live in. You have kind of these super fakes that are on the market. I also saw something recently that said Cartier no longer even authenticates their own pieces because they say the fakes are too good. Like they don't want to make put themselves liable by saying something's real when it's fake because the fakes have just gotten that like well made. Um, so you're also seeing that a lot on the market. And then, uh, and then outside of the fakes, like the actual like um, full fakes, you're also seeing a lot of dupes. So a lot of brands that um, are like more mid-tier or even just kind of more costume jewelry are doing the clover design. And so like, you're seeing that a lot that's what's happening really in culture. And so this girl was saying like, it gives her the ick to see it amongst people. But I saw a really funny response to to this, that when the girl was like, no, it doesn't give me the ick, but you give me the ick because <laughs> you give me the ick because you clearly have like this idea that just because something becomes popular, you're not gonna like it anymore. And I like actually like hate that when people do that. I'm totally not the kind of person. Like if I like something, I like it. And like, like for example, the Balenciaga Triple S sneaker, I have two pairs, I still wear them today. My um, Bottega, uh, like, padded cassette bag, the padded trend, like, the pillowy bag trend was very much a trend, but I also love that bag, and I knew when I bought it, even though it was very popular at the time, like, I knew I'm still gonna wear this because I just like the style, um, and so people who are kind of very flippant about things once they become too popular, I think it's like, well, then, wait, did you even like it in the first place? Like, what? Um, so, I don't know, that was something that was on my mind. I may make a TikTok on it, but because I was doing the sit-down video and I was also talking about how I have, like, this gripe with TikTok, um, I thought I'd tell you guys, too. Um, so, there's that. What else? What else? What else? Um, I feel like I've already kind of been talking for a while, so maybe I'll leave it there for now. Maybe I'll see you back in a few hours if I get confirmation for the Puma show. If not, tomorrow I have the New York Men's Day. So it's the official first day of New York Fashion Week. Um, and the first day is always New York Men's Day. So that's where there's two like timings within the day. I think one's from 10 to 12 and another's from four to six. And it's I think a total of eight different emerging menswear designers and like um, genderless designers that um, show in like a space and have like presentations and shows where like press can go and view the collections. So I'm going to that um, tomorrow. And then on Saturday I have, um, and I can tell you this now because you're gonna have seen it by the time you see this vlog. Um, I'm partnering with Hulu and National Geographic on this big New York Fashion Week activation they're doing for this show it's called Queens. Super cool that they asked me to do this. It was super cool because it was like maybe a month or so ago when the PR team that's handling the event reached out that they wanted to partner with me. But the first email was, hi, we really love your content. We want to partner with you. But before we tell you more details on it, can you sign this NDA? And I was like, oh, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> so like I signed it, sent it to them. Then they sent me all of this stuff about this. Like the activation that they're doing and what it is, is it's a partnership with Hulu and National Geographic for this show called Queens, which is a nature documentary show. And traditionally, they could, nature documentary shows are very much through the lens of men like male photographers male videographers like male animals um but this show is all about from the perspective of women so it's all female cast angela bassett's the vo um narrator 
um, it's all about kind of like the women, if the female animals and kind of like how they navigate through the world. And if you know me, I'm actually a huge animal nerd. Like I feel like I always joke I was raised on Animal Planet, the old Animal Planet, not like this new stuff where like they're doing dog competition shows for grooming. I don't know what that is. But the old stuff where it was like about like veterinarians and like all like the like really old school like Planet Earth tile uh, content. So this is kind of like the perfect collab for me to be a part of because it's like fashion and um, animals. So what the event is going to be, it's like this big kind of runway show. I think it's a runway show. Um, and then there's also going to be like some other like, parts of the space where it's like going to be holograms with like holograms of the animals with like corresponding looks from different emerging designers. It's also like with a big stylist who's going to be um, curating everything. Um, and it should be a really cool event. And I'm one of the VIP influencers um, on it. So you'll see it all in my stories and stuff. And I'll be kind of sharing about my experience. So that'll be cool. So I'm doing that on Saturday. And then I'm waiting for some confirmation from some other shows. So um, we'll see if I get those. But if not, you know me, I don't usually typically do a big New York Fashion Week, except for like that one that you've seen the video of. Um, but because I just came back from Paris for menswear, I typically don't take time off when I do New York. So I already think I can go to like in the evening or I can like maybe get, like, get away from my desk for like an hour or two. I'll go to it, but I'm not, like, trying to go to, like, as many things as I can during the day. Um, so that's the plan for the week. Um, but, yeah, it's Thursday now. We'll see if I get invited to this Puma show. I'll finish my coffee, and I'm actually thinking I'm going to edit a YouTube vlog for, from Christmas, from when I went away to, uh, Switzerland for the holidays. I still realize I haven't edited that or put that up, so maybe that's gonna go up probably after this video if it hasn't gone up before. Um, so I think I'm gonna go edit that now. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. That's the plan for now. Good morning. Um, it is Friday, official first day of the Fashion Week. I just got ready. This is my look. I'm actually wearing like pretty much the same look I wore to one of the days in Paris. Um, it's these Banana Republic like extra long um pants i got tailored to fit my waist um the arcana glove top um which you can see the full full glove sleeve uh the um what's this um a pair this is a paris coat and then my bitterly um jewelry so you can it's the ear cuff and the ring um i think that's gonna be it um but yeah, I'm gonna head out. I'm actually gonna meet my um, Samia, who you guys met on the Fashion Week vlog in Paris. She's gonna be at Men's Day, which is where we're going. We're going to like New York Men's Day, which is like a bunch of different men's and like genderless designers showing in like one space. Um, so that's kind of the main thing on the agenda today. We have the Kanye listening party tonight. I think I'm actually gonna wear like the same outfit, maybe change the coat. Um, but well, I wanted to tell you something. Oh yeah. I made a TikTok last night about Taylor Swift. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of just random like brain thoughts during this vlog. Um, I made a TikTok last night about Taylor Swift and the comments are going crazy. I'll, yeah, so um, that happened. Maybe I'll continue doing commentary on TikTok. Let me know um, <laughs> if you like that kind of content. Um, I, I'm gonna keep it, you know, I'm not gonna really going away from my fashion stuff, but hey, maybe I'll start bringing other commentary into the mix. Um, okay, I gotta go. I already think I'm running really late. I'm trying to be there by 11 and it's 10.30, so I should go. Part one of New York Men's Day. There's this part two that happens at around four o'clock of another four designers. I don't know if I'm gonna go to that yet. Um, that's still to be determined. But the designers here were actually um, really good. Especially one, um, I forget the name, but I'll put it up on the screen. It reminded me of Arturo or, or Bergara from this. So now I'm heading back to my place because I have a meeting at one. Um, and then we'll kind of see what else the day brings. But just a bit of an update. I also saw Samia. We got a video together, but I realized I was 
filming the wrong direction. So um, it's just the audio. But hey, it happens. I do that way too much. I literally do it every single time. So like, I'm vlogging. Um, but okay, let's do a little update. Bye. Uh, have assets and um, branded bits and pieces that uh, they can use. As okay, hey vlog, we're updated. But look who's here! <laughs> No, you look cute. You look cute. Um, I had my one meeting after the um, show, and then now I'm about to get my nails done because they're looking a little rough. And then we're going to. Well, actually, I'm gonna go meet my boyfriend because he is coming. Just came back from the silent retreat. And, and then, and then I'm going to my second boyfriend. <laughs> we're going to go see Kanye. Vultures, New York. I'm actually really excited to hear this album because yeah, I've too. been waiting. And um. Have you not heard it yet? I, I mean, I've heard some of it, but not all of it, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, Jay's a lucky guy. We, I hooked him up with a little box yeah, situation. He's <laughs> I'm like, I'll invite you to, like, what, some Cedar Phil event or something? <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear me, but we made it to the show. Um, we're at our seats. It's like, what, 1040? About two hours late, but we don't expect it. I think we're probably going to come on around like 1130. It's like 1045 right now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> welcome to Long Island. updated you since yesterday when I went to the Kanye show, which was so good. Um, the album is amazing. It's out now, so you guys should listen to it. Um, and also, if you have listened to it, let me know uh, what you think in the comments below. But there are like, it's like almost no skips. Maybe like a few songs I don't love, but it's really good. Anyway, now I'm walking. Hey, um, now I'm walking. It's my building I need to change to go to the National Geographic Hulu event that I have tonight. So I still don't even know what I'm wearing yet, but we're gonna just figure that out, I guess. Okay, I'm officially dressed. I hope you guys can see me, but this is what I'm doing for the, um, this is what I'm doing for the National Geographic event. It's a nature doc, so I feel like I wanted to go with like a safari vibe. So I'm doing this vintage jacket with fringe, which I haven't worn, I swear, in like years. Um, this vintage, uh, like, multi-pocket button-up. These pants from Entire Studios. Rick boots. Um, vintage glasses, which I know you guys have probably seen a few times. Um, and then I added this ring um, to the mix tonight, too. Otherwise, it's like my normal everyday jewelry. But that is the vibe, and I'm heading out to go meet Jasmine. I'm gonna get some shots before we go inside. Um, I need to get a picture of the brief because this is a contract event that I need to go to, so I have to get content up for them. Um, I need to make sure I'm doing what they ask. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take you along with me. Uh, so let's go, day two of across 12, 12 different countries, Queens leverages cutting edge technology to reveal how females in the natural world rise to power. 